oh no, you're stuck at home, you have to quarantine, so what can you do? This video is going to show you how to make sure you don't fall behind. So for math, 6th graders, you have a math textbook at home. 5th graders, you're going to have to have somebody come pick up your math workbook and then remember to bring it back to school when you come back. And 5th graders, if you don't have your math workbook, do Prodigy. Prodigy, Prodigy, Prodigy is a good way to keep up with math. But for math, message me on days you have math and ask me how far did my class get today so you don't get too far or you don't fall behind by not doing enough at home. So let me know what pages everybody completed and I'll tell you how far we got that day. For science, you can't use the kits because they're here and you probably don't have one at home. So here's what you're going to do. Go into the Robotics in Science quest. By now, you should have completed Telescopes in Space or Chemistry into Intro. If you haven't done either of those, do at least one of them. But if you do both, you'll for sure unlock Science for Remote Work. On the task here, I explain what you need to do instead of your kit robotics work to keep up and not fall behind. And if you scroll down, you'll see this video, uh, as well as another video here for how to turn it in. And by it, I mean your work. So let's go to Google Classroom because I'm going to show you what the instructions say. On your science Google Classroom, go to Classwork. And if you scroll down, you got resources, robotics, environmental stewardship, forces, and atomic structure. Those are your two textbook lessons. You can start with either one. If you start with forces, you should have already completed telescopes in space. If you start with atomic structure, you should have completed chemistry introduction. Once you're done with those, you do these in order from top to bottom, and you can view more to see them all. So for atomic structure, you have to go from atom, atom in order to isotope. For forces, you're going to go in order from force to projectile motion because the learning progresses in order. So here's what you do. You click on the assignment and you click here to open your work. This is a uh, CK12 Flexbook. If it asks you to log in, use your school Google account. Always log in for school work with your school Google. So the way these uh, work is you do the reading to learn, and if there is a figure, you read it. If it asks you to do something, you do stuff, and read it. Don't just, ooh, look how fun this is. No, you need to read the progression of how scientists came to understand this idea of atoms. Okay, and you're going to read, you're going to look here at what this represents uh, and you're gonna click on clickable ones. Some of them are interactive clickables, some of them are just figures you read. So what you, once you reach the end, let me move this over here, we've got continue practice. You're going to click on this because this will start your review to see if you get it right. So if it says start practice, you're gonna start practice. If it says continue practice, you're gonna continue practice. You need to do the practice questions for each section or each chapter. So you pick the correct answer. And this lets me know how long it took you to do these and uh, how many you got right. This is important information for you and for me because it lets us know if you're understanding what you're reading. And if you don't understand it, then you know what questions to ask me. You can say, hey, I got this one wrong. Why did I get it wrong? Once you're done with the practice problems, you click here to turn it in. And that's what the video here explains how to turn in your work on Google Classroom. Uh, because you're going to turn it in on Google Classroom and you're going to keep going. So you can complete this task, but you can see on Google Classroom, you have a lot to do before you finish each book. 
So there's enough work there to keep you busy if you have to quarantine for five days at a time or if you go on vacation.